Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about toy photography and some really cool lights. So let's get it started. Okay, so if you've been watching me or follow me on social media or anything like that, you know that I like doing toy photography. I like doing pretty much any kind of photography. And the folks uh, over at Ulanzi, I think I said that right, uh, reached out to me and said, hey, would you mind trying some of these lights? And I was like, yeah, I'd love, I'd love to. Um, it's actually a really cool kit. Um, it's basically uh, a photography lighting garage kit. It's a very low profile uh, set, and that intrigued me. It intrigued me a lot because I, I've got other types of lighting that I've used, but when it comes to like normal size lighting, you can't really do much with toys. I mean, you can, but it's sort of overkill. And I've got some loon cubes, and they work really, really good, but... This, this has me intrigued. So, we're going to get this bad boy open. Ooh. Look at this. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Let's get some of these out. Oh, see, so like right there. That right there is wicked cool. We got an octagon uh, softbox. Uh, uh, it's not soft, but... I actually have a full size one of these that's like 70 inches. It's like huge. Uh, but that is really, really cool. We got basically just a dish right there, a reflective dish. Again, very nice. And we've got a ball. Um, I actually have something for my real uh, photography, real photography, my people photography. Um, and I'm trying to remember what it's called. I only used it for like a couple of times, but it's similar to this. It goes on my flash, uh, but this is, this is nice. Something else to diffuse light, not only this way, but all the way around. That's what that actually is designed to do. What else do we got? Oh, look at this. We got some barn doors. I mean, this this comes with some really good accessories. I mean, this pretty much is a, a very, very nice set. Um, got the power cord, oh, instructions. And we got a tripod right there. What's this? Oh, the uh, qualified certificate. And we got the, uh, we got the light itself right there, so. Let's get some of this stuff fired up. Don't need that no more. Um, let's get the uh, let's get the tripod out. I'm real. This is something I'm really curious to uh, as well because tripods. I mean, I've, I've got several small ones that I use, like I said, for my other uh, toy lighting. They're okay. Um, they're okay, but. I'm, I'm just, I was really intrigued by, by this one because I know what my other ones do and don't do. All right. Let's see here. So right there's full extension. I think that's all for that one, which is, which is super fine. Got the adjustment for the legs. Which they should fold down. Come on, fold down. Make sure I'm pulling it right. Make sure I got it loose. Usually the first time, there we go. The first time that, because uh, these are like, sort of lock into place. So you got to unscrew this to let the collar go. Nice. So that's, that's approximately uh, six, seven, 11 inches, 12, give or take. Um, I do like the fact that it actually will lay flat. That's very, very cool right there. Look at that. You can lay flat. This is, this is actually a very nice, uh, little tripod. Very nice. 
no complaints whatsoever with that. Nice. Um, I did notice too that the uh, the control here actually has uh, a clamp on it. So, should we look at the instructions? Yes, we're going to look at the instructions. Because, I, I, I mean, I can pretty much tell that's going to mount somewhere on the... Uh, the tripod and if I had to guess it's going to be right here it's going to be right there boom because the other side's too uh it's uh too narrow so yeah right there but before we do that we got to get the light screwed in this is an led light um and it is uh adjustable uh warm um there's all kinds of uh uh, temperatures that that you can put on it all right now then we got the light let's screw this on let's pop this bad boy on right there okay okay get the cord out of the way get that tightened up that's that's look at that that is a nice little package right there that's cool that is really, really cool. And we've got our accessories here. So, show you what the barn door looks like. And there's like little grooves here on the side. Yep, just pops right in. So, we got the barn door right there. Boom. And you basically just pull and pop off got the uh the beauty dish it's what i'm it's similar to a real beauty dish but the it has a, a thing here in the center of it but uh yeah right there pop that bad boy off i'm going through these i'm saving the the one that i probably will use a lot for last this is cool this actually is, is cool um but again, it's more to send light all over. This one right here, I really like that. That is, I mean, that legit is similar to what I have right here. <laughs> the only difference is these are rectangles, uh, but to uh, have something like this is uh, amazing. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, uh, I actually already have a power cord plugged in because I wanted to uh, have this ready to go. So to to basically to turn this thing on, um, let's do this. Let's get some of the stuff out of the way here. So basically, you just hold this button here for three seconds, and it comes on. Boom. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> so this, and it also has some different modes. So we'll go through, we'll go through the modes first. Cause I want you to, I want you to see the modes. Let me uh, get that to where it's not like going crazy on you. Let me spin this around, get the tripod down. All right, let's get this thing back to, okay, which one? All right, so this right here is mode number one is lightning. Very, very cool. And to adjust the mode, you basically turn this knob. So the next one is uh, flash. Boom. Basically, it's got like a, a, a pulse or like a boom. And, oh, excuse me, that was TV. <laughs> That's flash right there. Uh, TV right there. And we're at 50% right now, 50% power. Uh, bad bulb is this one. I mean, I can already see some, uh, some really cool effects that you could do with some of these settings. Uh, this is CC, CCT loop right there. We got INT loop. Okay, okay. Uh, pulse is next. 
Yep. That's a puff. <laughs> uh, storm. You know, simulate some lightning. I mean, we have a lightning setting, but uh, a good storm effect. Paparazzi. Okay. Uh, this is fire. All right, so that actually changed to warm on its own. I mean, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Fire. <laughs> uh, explosion. Uh, excuse me. Let's see here. Fire. Whoops. Firework. I don't really know what. Okay, firework. Um, explosion. Okay. To me, that looks a little bit like a flash. And then welding. Okay. Very, very cool. That's uh that's actually pretty pretty neat. That's pretty neat. All right, so, and then you press it basically. So right now we're at 50 for 50%. Uh we are at 6300k. So daylight is 55. So basically on the on the knob here, you just basically rotate it. Let's see. My bad. Okay, there we go. So we're going to rotate this down to 55K, which is daylight. And again, we're at 53% right there. I'm going to go ahead and take it. It has very subtle, uh, which I do like this. When it comes to uh, dimmable, a lot of times when you turn the knob, it's, it's drastic. This isn't. I actually like the fact it's very, very minor changes i mean like that's one percent two three four five six every little click and it it's it's really really cool and we're gonna take it all the way up and even a hundred that's a hundred percent right there which is which is bright don't get me wrong but i mean that's that's not bad guys let's take this back down to 50%. So, the next thing, here's my theory, is we got to light something. So, i tell you what, let me get some stuff set up. We'll grab a toy. I don't know which one yet. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. All right. So, got a little bit of a little studio set up right here. Uh, the only lights in the room right now are from my brick case uh, sets. Got a little accent light over there. And I just wanted to show you guys these things up close and personal to uh, see, how things, uh, see how things look. So I'm going to fire up the, uh, the one here on the left. Hold it for three seconds. Boom. That is 5,500 on the Kelvin and 10% lighting. Uh, definitely gonna get, you will see the reflection in the back right there, but that's okay. But that's 10%. Let's dial this thing down. Let's see what, let's see what we can get going on here. Look at that. So that is zero. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so the left side of the face is lit up. So let's come over here and fire up the right one. Hold it for three seconds. Powers it on. 10%. Let's take this back down to five. And right there, we're at 5% right there. And it's it's lit up great. It's It's definitely lit up great. Let's see here. Let's take, uh, okay, I'm actually, based on my settings, I'm going to take this back up to 10% because of the settings on my camera. And let's see what that looks like. That's actually not too bad. Yeah, that's not, uh, 
that's not too bad at all. I don't know if that'll focus in or not, but let's see if it will. That's not bad. That's 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 actually pretty pretty good. I'm I'm pretty pleased with that. So now I've got the settings on my camera that I like. So let's take this thing up another 5% and see what that does. All right, there's 15% on all of them. Get my sorry, but my hands in the way. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's do it this way. Oh, let's get that back focused for you. There we go. Oh, that's 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 legit right there. That's that's pretty daggum. That's pretty daggum cool right there. That's pretty daggum cool. Uh, the the photos that I'm taking they'll be they will be at the end of the video so you'll definitely be able to see them but I tell you what I'm very very impressed uh, let's take this thing up to twenty percent and I'm not touching any settings on my camera uh, to let you know what I'm actually shooting at uh, one twenty one one hundred 25, uh, one, 125, uh, on the shutter speed, the F stop is 6.3 and I'm shooting at ISO 2000. Nice. Very, very cool. Once we're done, I'll show you, I'll show you the pictures in camera, but I'm telling you right now, um, I'm, I am digging these lights. These lights, because here's the here's the thing, they simulate what I use in real life. That's the that's the beauty of these things um, is the fact that it's it looks just like what I would take to do portraits or corporate headshots or anything like that. So uh, yeah. This is cool. All right, I'm gonna take a few more pictures and I'll come back and give you my final thoughts on uh, these awesome lights. All right, guys, wrapping things up. Me and Kevin Smith, we're hanging out. Um, you Lindsay, um, man, these, I dig these. I wanna say a big thank you to them for, uh, for uh, sending me these. I'll definitely put links in the description and you know, I'm, I'm really, when, when I do reviews, honestly, it, it doesn't matter if, uh, if, if I buy it or if someone sends it to me, I give you an honest opinion and I like these, I like these a lot. Um, and again, as a photographer, this makes sense. This is all the settings that I can do on my strobes <laughs> or my LED panels is right here. And that is awesome. Um, you know, they're not battery powered. This is something that you would definitely, I'm not going to say you couldn't take it out on location. Um, I haven't tried these with any kind of a, a battery pack or anything like that, but I'll be honest with you. These right here, it's, the way they are, I'm just going to set them up back here. Uh, that way they're here. Uh, I've got USB uh, dual plug. I can pull these things down at a moment's notice. They're already set. Boom, boom, boom. I know the camera settings. I can take some pictures. So, yeah. If you if you like toy photography, I, I would recommend these. I really would. Um, I, I, I just think they're cool. Uh, again... I didn't, I didn't show these, uh, the barn doors and, and the, and that's just me, um, for my personal use, this, I like these octagon soft boxes. Um, at some point, I'm sure that, uh, I will definitely use these if you want to like, you know, narrow the, the, the view down, um, again, high reflective, big room, you know, light up a big space uh but this right here is for what i like to do um 
this is perfect. So definitely check out the link in the description. I'll have uh, I'll ha have all the information there so you can check them out for yourself. Um, I think the price point on them is fifty nine dollars. I think um, you may think that's a little little pricey, uh, but for what you get, it's it's not bad. I really don't think it's bad at all. I mean, you get four lighting attachments. You get the light, the tripod. Um, I think I think you get your money's worth. It's definitely uh, very very nice. So, but let me know in the comments what you think. Like I said, uh, at the end of the video, you'll see the the photos that I took of Mr. Kevin Smith, and uh, let me know what you think about those. Uh, if this is your first time on my channel, if you enjoy this type of content, do me a favor, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure and turn notifications on. That way you'll know when I drop videos and do other things related to toys and toy hunting and toy photography, 3D printing, cosplay. i am pretty much got my hand in a lot of different things, but turn them notifications on. Uh, also, click more in the description, and that, that's where you'll see links to these uh, this light sets and uh, anything else that I actually have. All my social media is there. You can definitely uh, reach out for that. Uh, that's where I'll be posting some pictures of Kevin Smith that I took, so they'll be on there. And I also took some of somebody else that uh, I may or may not have already posted. Maybe. You'll have to wait and see. Uh, but yeah, we're done. Hope you enjoyed it. And finally, please always remember toy photography refreshes your soul and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.